public can support us quite uh, um, a lot in, in the fight against wildlife crime. Um, probably now for the past uh, two or three years I've um, um, uh, appealed to the general public uh, through our Friends of the Parks uh, pro program. Um, the public is really continuously invited to contribute in one way, shape or form towards uh, wildlife protection and just generally uh, to the well-being of our protected areas. So we uh, invite the general public really um, to engage in collaborative efforts. Um, we've seen um, anything from you know, contributions in just um, food, we've seen contributions in the form of uh, fuel um, uh, towards our efforts uh, on the ground in terms of operations, we've seen uh, through the Friends of the Program, um, also initiatives by just uh, philanthropists, uh, Namibians, and generally across the globe, uh, people who are just interested in contributing towards the development of a water point inside a national park, for example. But at the same time, um, because our national parks contribute towards the greater good um, of the global conservation agenda, um, these days we are talking about um, um, 30 by 30, and uh, as a country, I think we've um, we've pride ourselves in that that we have surpassed that target already. But it doesn't mean we should um, we should stop there. We should continue all efforts in uh, in just inviting uh, whoever is interested, from a general perspective, uh, public perspective, and also the international community because. Um, a lot of the species uh, that we really are taking care of, elephant, lion, some of the specially protected species are of global importance. They are really not just for the interest of Namibians, but uh, we are keeping these uh, species for because they carry a global uh, importance uh, in terms of a conservation agenda. Mm -hmm.